subsoil because of the excess leaching by the water because uh, every day there is the rain and rain washed out the nutrients from the soil all the salts from the soil so soil remains very poor so that such type of soil is known as laterite soil or latosol soil so this all the reason they have the latosol soil or sometimes use, we used to say laterite soil it's a poor soil poor nutrient soil wherever we have because of excess leaching and desilication excess leaching leads to desilication desilication means silica is the most important component of the soil to retain the nutrients in it pakad ke rakhte hain nutrient ko to silica hi nahi bachega to nutrient ko kya pakad ke rakha so they are washed out so this is highly porous soil you can say this soil is porous soil so that's why this soil ultimately is a poor soil but poor soil so dense vegetation rich in humus then what happened uh, uh, because there is the there is the leaching of horizons are there this is a horizon this is b horizon all nutrients they they leach down to the surface and get accumulated in the b horizon so b horizon is always rich upper layer of the soil a horizon is very poor and trees have their root in the b horizon trees are having their roots in the b horizon in these nutrients and this is the tree here so trees are having roots in the b horizon but this upper layer is very poor so this is the nature of the soil in this region so this is called tropical evergreen rainforests now come over to the next tropical moist deciduous forests tropical moist deciduous vegetation i want to conclude this uh, topic today uh, because uh, i have to take the two three more important topics are remaining uh, tropical moist deciduous is the reason more than 100 cm of rainfall but less than 150 so this is the second type of forest 100 to 150 cm rainfall when rainfall ranges between this this is basically uh, in this uh, type of vegetation almost all properties are the properties of tropical rainforest there is only difference that this tree species are less height is less trees are doesn't have the competition to gain height they have the domal canopy they are deciduous the, the word deciduous is there so they have the domal canopy and sal is the dominating tree broad leaf and trees are little widely spaced so if trees are widely spaced what will happen rain is there moisture is there the grass is dominating in that region tall grasses like in assam you know duar region tall grasses because trees are widely spaced and and only uh, its its uh, grasses are tall and dense vegetation uh, dense grasses are there so grasses and uh, there is a good combination of grasses and tall trees so this is tropical moist deciduous and tropical moist deciduous it found in the eastern part of india if if we come over to here to indian subcontinent in indian part if i construct a simple line iso height is that this is sorry this is jaada hi kar this is only up to the delta of brahmaputra east of this line this is 100 cm iso height this is very important line iso height 100 cm rainfall more in this side we have more than 100 cm this side we have less than 100 cm rainfall so beyond this this entire eastern india east of eastern madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand odisha bihar eastern up foothills of the himalayas up to western himalayas foothills 
Bengal, Assam, entire rest of the Arunachal, Brahmaputra Valley. So all we have the uh, uh, this vegetation, tropical moist deciduous. They, they have the long dry, but they have uh, uh, half of the year they have rain and half of the year they have the dry conditions. So trees are basically, they have the sal tree. Sal is the most dominating tree here, it found in this region. Apart from sal, uh, amaltas, uh, semal, uh, na, uh, you know, uh, neem, see some people, yes. not see some, neem, uh, these are the amaltas, semal, some name of the trees uh, uh, are missing, but these are the important trees. Sal is the dominating tree. It's, it's a broad leaf tree. And this, this vegetation is more gregarious. Gregarious means more variety of vegetation could sustain near the trees. Sometimes they don't make colonies. They have the combination of uh, variety of trees. So. This is uh, in eastern there, the broad leaf, widely spaced. These trees look like this. So they have almost equal size of canopy. In previous case, only two third is the trunk and one third is the canopy. They have more than half of the area have the canopy. Almost 60% is the canopy and 40% height is the trunk, main trunk. So these trees are the tall trees. So these, this vegetation have a, a, a very coppice power, fire resistance, termite resistance, very strong uh, high density vegetation, uh, high density of the wood. You know, uh, sal trees we use to construct the building material, houses we use to construct the planks on the roof of the houses, all we use. Uh, to, to construct with these sal trees. Sal ki ghar se sal ki sahtir dalte hain, sal ki kadiya se ghar banate hain, sab jange pul banate hain, asam mein, nadiyo mein. They don't have concrete, they, they don't have cement. So they use to construct all bridges on sal. And in asam, you will be surprised to know, there are so many railway lines. They have, the, the bridges are constructed of sal trees. So sal have a coppice power, very strong uh, load bearing capacity. So this is second type of vegetation, tropical moist deciduous in the eastern part of India. Uh, and the third type of vegetation is called mangroves. Mangroves are, uh, it's a very interesting and very peculiar vegetation. Mangroves are also known as intertidal vegetation. And this intertidal vegetation is located between high tide and low tide. We have saline water, this is all halophytes. Mangroves. This is intertidal. Halophyte vegetation. This vegetation have uh, pneumatophores. This have viviporous fruits. found on the mouth of the rivers. Either in the deltas 
और एस्टूरिस सो एस्टूरिस एंड डेल्टा सो इन इन लाइक स्पोर्ट्स Suppose this is the intertidal zone. This is the MSL, mean sea level. Low tide is LT, low tide, and high tide comes up to here, HT. So this area have a vegetation spread along the slope from high tide to low tide on the mouth of the river. so this is uh, called uh, intertidal helophyte because when it is after 6 hour when it is the high tide means it is the saline water after 6 hours only fresh water will come then high tide is there only saline water is there then high low tide is there fresh water is there so alternate saline and fresh water is there so this vegetation is very uh, peculiar kind of vegetation they have pneumatophores. Pneumatophores means these roots, the roots of the trees. Suppose this is the tree here. Its surface is always muddy. When it is the high tide here, so if, if it is the tree here, and when high tide is there, it, it spread over mud everywhere. When low tide is there, a high tide is there, it brings silt and spread mud. When the low tide is there, it left with the muddy condition. So it's uh, and what happened? The roots sometimes roots comes out, roots comes out on the surface everywhere. In the mangroves, you will find roots are like visible like this. They come out to take oxygen. Sometimes this tree is uh, these root tree leaves are or the structure of the tree is not capable to provide sufficient amount of food so they take oxygen and other nutrients from the air so then the roots comes out on the surface if you see any of the documentary of uh, Sundarban Delta you will find everywhere some, some uh, twigs or the roots are coming out of the surface in the open air when it is the high tide they are not visible when low tide it is they are visible so they are basically called pneumatophores. Such roots are known as pneumatophores. But they, they have the stilt roots. One, they have the stilt roots. Stilt roots means, suppose this is all roots are here. Suppose this is the tree. And this is the main, one trunk is here, but below this one trunk, all sand is removed from here. So these below these trees we can pass over sometimes. So there is no sand here in between. So it is hanging on the stilts. Uh, uh, entire weight is on stilts. Jaise aapki building hoti na, uspe khadi hoti hai pillar pe. So like this tree is standing on the pillars, the pillars of the roots. So this is, यहाँ कुछ भी नहीं है बीच में, यहाँ कुछ नहीं है, यहाँ हम इसके बीच में से नीचे से निकल सकते हैं आसानी से। So these roots are called stilt roots. Why it is so? Because this they are up to the limit of high tide. High tide आएगा इसके नीचे की मिट्टी निकाल। So water moves, comes and moves back. So they looks when low tide is there, they looks like stilt. Clear? And they have vivi porous roots. Vivi porous means roots, uh, uh, fruits on the tree sometimes uh, repent on the tree itself. Pak jate hai, ped bhi fal pak jate hai kai bar. Ped bhi fal pak jaye to kya hoga? Us fal mein se ya to gire niche thik hai. Nahi to us ped ke upar hi jo fal hai, the, 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 the fruit is on the tree and that get, uh, that, 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 get sufficient moisture, the seed in the fruit get sufficient moisture and from the tree itself a, a, another sapling get ready on the tree. So, here is a tree, here is fruit hai, and in this fruit a new sapling comes out. When it, this sapling is aisa kabhi hota hai, peed ke upar hi poda ban jaye, in the seed itself, in the fruit itself, it happens. 
and once it is heavy, it falls straight on the surface and it develops the another tree. So sapling, straight sapling falls from the tree, from the seed. That's why these fruits are called viviporous fruits. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. And they found they have the stilt root. Basically, these trees have, though this always, this vegetation is having water. Either saline or the fresh water, always on the mouth of the river. If river is not there, they, say, you may not find uh, uh, mangroves over there. Only saline water cannot sustain the mangroves. So, uh, they develop, they have, still they require 100 rainy days in a year. They require 100 rainy days. Like some of the important trees, like uh, kevda, cane. You know, cane ki kursiyan banate hai hum. Yes. This it comes all from the eastern India, Bengal and Odisha. Canes and bruguera. Bruguera. Sonerita. which used to say Rita, uh, Sundari, Sundari Who, Agar, These are the different trees. Kevda is yeah. So for fragrance we use Kevda? Isn't it? Kevda is heard? Yes sir. Dhup Bhatti is Yes sir. Agar Bhatti is heard? Yes sir. All these are the Sundari Rita, Sonerita, Senorita, or Sonerita, whatever you say, Brugwira. These are the different types of trees commonly found in the coastal region and in the mouth of the rivers, in estuaries. So it's spread over. So in India, basically, we have the Sundarbans. In the delta, on the mouth of every river, we have the. And on the. On the if I construct some on the western ghat, so we have the estuary like this river, so here up to here. So this is, we have everywhere, wherever the mouth of the river, this is the mouth of the river, see, another mouth of the river. So we have, in, in Karnataka and the backwaters of Kerala, they are, they have dense density, like there is a place called Kundapur. Bhatkal. These are the two important pristine locations uh, 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 for mangroves in, in Karnataka, Kundapur and Bhatkal. Uh, though Hanover, there is another, another Hanover and uh, Mulki. These are the coastal regions, Goa. The mouth of the, which two rivers are there in Goa? On the mouth of these two rivers, everywhere you have the mangroves. Can you name the rivers of Goa? Juari and Mandovi. So all this is, so Kundapur, Matkal, Hanover, Mulki and the backwaters of Kerala. So here, this is all in estuaries. In the western heart, western coast of India, we have the estuarine mangroves. And eastern coast of India, we have the deltaic mangroves. So, I may construct some, some more areas. May I clean it? Yes, sir. You have knocked it down, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes I feel... So this is the largest, uh, sorry, Ganga comes like this, Brahmaputra is this, so Hopi is like this, so this is another Largest accumulation 
something that is called sundar bhan because sundari trees are dominating over here and they are not very tall trees they have more uh, branches their trunk is smaller canopy is bigger and on the mouth of every river on the mouth of this every river whether it, it is subarna rekha or brahmani or baitarni or mahanadi or rishi kulya they have this small small or the delta of your krishna and godavari and the pen pala river and the penna river or the kuham river chennai and and this is or the delta of this kaveri river vagai river everywhere we have been it is in patches but here it is in continuity because every here we have the small small rivers straight from the western ghat draining into the sea so we have more continuity here but we have the wider patches over here in the eastern coastal so this is the uh, uh, one type of vegetation called mangroves and apart from mangroves we have the tropical dry evergreen <laughs> this is evergreen but dry evergreen evergreen should be moist but in dry conditions sometimes vegetation becomes evergreen uh, this uh, for this i have to explain the climograph because evergreen is the one reason that is called tamil nadu coastal region and southern andhra pradesh of india the area of india which receive northeast monsoonal rain so it means in tamil nadu we have the two rainy seasons one is the southwest monsoon and another is the northeast monsoon southwest monsoon obviously it is located in the leeward side all the winds passes parallel to the coast that's why it receive less amount of rain because of its location and situation of the region but in in north but still it receive rainfall in in in, in southwest monsoon so that's why it doesn't get sufficient moist conditions it receive less rainfall but two rainy seasons the demand of the vegetation if i construct a graph here the demand of water for a, uh, a tree saal bhar kitni demand rehti hai suppose this is the time so this is january this is july and this is december this is low this is medium this is high demand of water demand of water water every plant because there is less sunshine so less demand of water in in winter when there is more sunshine more trans evaporation evapotranspiration transpiration takes place from the trees so what happened the demand of the tree increases as the temperature increases when the temperature decreases the demand of the moisture also decreases pode ko kam pani chahiye winter mein because moisture is evaporation is not taking place so this is the demand and suppose see delhi in delhi what is the supply then this is hypothetical demand i can say this is demand इन दिल्ली सप्लाई इज आजकल तो बिल्कुल बारिश नहीं हुई और भी कम हो जाएगी और भी कम हो जाएगी और जून में आते आते बढ़ जाएगी और इससे भी ऊपर चली जाएगी और फिर ये नीचे आ जाएगी इन दिल्ली वी हैव लाइक दिस सप्लाई ऑफ वाटर दिस इज सप्लाई सो दिस मंथ्स आर दी वी हैव दी सरप्लस वाटर सप्लाई whatever the amount of water required for a tree we have the surplus water in which season july august september in three months july to september july to september, september we have the surplus supply of water so all the trees used to grow here very rapidly in in these three months they are the best months july august september you can find trees with new birds new leaves and the trees are growing then what happened rest of the time demand is this supply is this so this is the deficit this is the surplus surplus water and this is the deficit water 
in such condition what happened trees will have the stunted growth trees are not growing just they are consuming the water which is stored in their trunks when there was the surplus when surplus water is there trees store the water in its trunks and the bark and rest of the year it consume the same water yaha deficit mein so here we will not have the evergreen vegetation we will have the what type of vegetation we will have the deciduous vegetation we will have the uh, thorny vegetation yeah, because we have the short rainy and long dry season dry season is very long rainy is small but if i take the example of say tamil nadu tamil nadu this is which which monsoonal season is this this is south west monsoon this rain is because of south west delhi is then what happened this is supply and this is demand on the same graph if i construct <coughs> If I construct the climograph of Chennai city, one hypothetical, Chennai or Tanjore or say Trichy or Ramnathpuram or Nellore or uh, Chittoor, any of the city of Tamil Nadu coastal region, in winter we have the moderate amount of rain. dry season of say one month year and one month year in delhi how many dry seasons were uh, months were there in continuity we have six months were dry in continuity they don't have long dry season they have short short dry seasons and this is dry evergreen that because they don't have long dry so vegetation looks like green round the year that's why they are called evergreen and uh, this is uh, uh, one of the reason so this why this rainfall they receive they receive rainfall from which Not, monsoon northeast northeast monsoon. monsoon this rain is from so, southeast monsoon so out of the total rain 40% of the rain they receive from southwest monsoon in tamil nadu and 60% of the rain they receive from the northeast northeast monsoon so in tamil nadu because they have short rain, dry season and long rainy season none of the dry conditions are very long so sufficient amount of what moisture remains in the soil round the year so trees looks like green round the year though trees are not very tall trees are not closely spaced they are widely spaced they spread over to the wide wider area <coughs> दूर दूर पेड़ होते हैं नजदीक नहीं होते बट द कैनोपी इज वेरी डेंस यू नो द कैनोपी ऑफ मलबरी सैतूत का पेड़ देखा है सच ए क्लोज कैनोपी बट वेरी डेंस कैनोपी सो नॉट वेरी टॉल बट वेरी डेंस कैनोपी सन लाइट वुड नॉट पेनिट्रेट नो सो दिस इज मलबरी सो मलबरी mango these are the major trees generally used to found in this area they remain green they look like green round the year and they have the grass they have bamboo the the most important bamboo is called eta bamboo eta 
this atta bamboo is very good uh, for it is cellulogic bamboo full of cellulose 